Okay, so how can we change fractions to lowest terms? Okay, so bago yan, paano natin masasabi ng isang fraction ay nasa lowest term na? Okay, a fraction is in its lowest term if the numerator and denominator have no other common factor except 1. So for example, 3 sevenths is in lowest term. Why? Okay, so let's get first the factors of 3 and 7. Okay, 3 and 7. What are the factors of 3? Ano yung mumultiply natin para makuha ang 3? I think it's 3 and 1. 3 times 1. Wala nang iba, right? Okay, so the factors is 1 and 3. How about 7? Meron ba ting number na multiply para makuha ang 7? Maliban sa 7 times 1? Wala na. Okay, so the factors is 1 and 7. Now, what are the common factor? Okay, 1. Yan. Ibig sabihin, again, if the numerator and denominator have no other common factor except 1, it is already in lowest term. Okay. So, ang 3 sevenths ay nasa lowest term. Okay? Now, let's proceed. We're going to get the lowest term of uh, 6 eighths is not in lowest term. So, we need to get the lowest term of 6 eighths. So, paano? Okay. We're going first, we're going to get first the factors of 6 and 8. 6 and 8, I mean. Okay. So, 6 and 8. So, what are the factors of 6? Ano yung mamutuplay natin para makuha ang 6? We have 6 times 1, 3 times 2. What else? So, wala na, okay? So, we're going to write all the factors. We have 1, 2, 3, and 6. How about the factors of 8? We have 8 times 1, 2 times 4. Okay, so wala na rin po. So, we have the factors are 1, 2, 4, and 8. Okay, as you can see, we have two common factors, 1 and 2. Ibig sabihin, 6 eighths is not in lowest term. And 6 eighths is not in lowest term. Okay? Maliban lang kung 1 lang ang common factor nila. So, how can we get or how can we how can we change 6 eighths to lowest term? Okay, hanapin muna natin ang highest common factor. And the highest common factor is 2. 2 ang highest common factor. Pag nahanap mo na yung common factor na pinakamataas, we're going to use that number to divide. So, i-divide natin yung 6 eighths sa 2. Paano? So, we're going to divide 6 by 2 and 8 by 2. So, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. Okay? So, that is the lowest term of 6 eighths. So, this is our answer. Okay? Okay, another example. 10 over 18. Okay, so we're going to get the lowest term of 10 over 18. Again, we're going to get first the common factors of 10 and 18. Mm -hmm. So, what are the factors of 10? So, para hindi ka mahirapan, we need to find out first the numbers that can be multiplied to get 10. We have 10 times 1, ano pa? 2 times 5. I think wala na. So, that, these numbers are the factors of 10. So, we have 1, 2, 5, and 10. How about 18? Ano yung mga number para i-multiply ito para makuha ang 18? We have, of course, we have 18 times 1, and 6 times 3, 2 times 9. Okay, so meron pa ba? I think wala na po. 
Okay, so wala na. So, we're going to copy all the factors. We have 1, 3, what else? 6, we have 2, 2 first. Okay, 2 muna. 2, 3, and 6, 9, and 18. So, what are the common factors of 10 and 18? We have 1 and 2. So, wala nang iba. Now, what is the highest common factor? 2. So, we're going to use that to divide. So, 10 divided by 2, 18 divided by 2. False. So, anong multiply natin yung kay 2 para makuha ang 10? Or when we divide 10 divided by 2 is, is equals to 5. Okay. 18 divided by 2 is equals to 9. Okay. So the answer is 5 ninths. Hmm? There you go. It is already in lowest term.